Yo, what's up guys, PK Sparks here, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG pack opening. Today, we are opening six, six of the U new, newest Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG pack, Duelist Alliance. We have six packs here, we're going to be uploading, well, recording, unpacking, opening up, six packs of a set in every single video, and then every once in a while, whenever a new set comes out, I'm going to open an entire box. Now, you guys already know how it's going to go. Secret rares are guaranteed because I bought myself an entire box. So within this episode, the next episode, or the next two episodes after that, we are guaranteed a secret rare. So go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section below and let me know, number one, number two, number three, number four, which video do you think we are going to unpack this secret rare? Will we pull a ghost rare? Will we pull an ultra rare? Will we pull a money card? And what we're going to find out. But before we get into that, I want to remind you guys that if you haven't already, if you enjoy yourself in this video and want to see this series continue, just hit that like button for me. Let's see if we can get this up to 200 likes. That would be awesome to see. Let me know that you guys or enjoy yourself right now but without further ado let's get started okay so you guys can already tell this pack is open I just had a little technical error so I gotta redo it but luckily only one pack was open so in this pack we had Curse of the Shadow Prison, Artifact Shock Room, The Monarch Stormforth, Sonata the Melodious Diva, Stellar Knight Alpha, Shadow Squamata, Gaia the Polar Knight, our rare in the pack is Mozart the Melodious Maestra and a hollow in the pack was non-existent. Another Metaphys Arm Dragon. I messed with the lighting, but you know what? Um, there's nothing I can really do right now. I might have to get myself a desk lamp just so I can have like an overhead light. So I'll probably invest in that in the future for these pack openings. That way I can record literally at any time that I want. So just look out for that. I'll go to my nearest office depot and worry about that. So we're going to put the last five in the front. In the um, front because this is get well might be a hollow and this is guaranteed guaranteed to be our super rare so all right we have super heavy samurai blue brawler spicy spy the agent of entropy uranus feast of the wild level five i just love looking at that card like just that whole texture and whatnot it's so sick um nefarious archfiend eater of nefariousness a name that i love saying it will say repeatedly that six shadow hedgehog our rare in the pack is Shadow Dragon, which people told me that since I like spellcasters, I should try this archetype out. So I may hold off on selling all this, all of my Shadow cards, and you know maybe make a deck with them. Who knows? But in any case, the um the Hollow in this pack is not existent. Battery Man Nine Vault. We still have two more packs left in today's pack opening video. So keep keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. I mean, like I said, we are guaranteed at least one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Pull the last three. Put them up front and start off with Artifact Lancia. A lot of these Artifact things, but we got this Artifact Lancia so many times. Um, Yang Zing Prana, Area the Melodious Diva, Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman, Satella Knight Vega, Fishboard Doctor, Gaia the Midnight Sun. Our rare in the pack is Break of the Magical Warrior, again, and a hollow in the pack is not existent. Stella Nova Wave. So we're already halfway done and have not unleashed a hollow yet. Looks as though this pack is not a, I'm sorry, this pack opening will not be a money opening, but we'll, we'll find out what's happening. We'll find out what happens. I don't know how to talk. Go well, here we go. Pulling the last three, putting them up front. All right. Doing this all. I love doing these. Hotel of Night Wave, Battle Guard King, Cloud Castle, nice and synchro. Yang Zing Unleashed. I got that in rare because from the um, what pack did I get it from? I forget where I got it from. Um, yeah, I forget. Whatever. Anyway, Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman, Satella Knight Vega, Fishboard Doctor. Our rare in the pack is Satella Knight Skybridge, and our hollow in the pack. Ooh, Satella Knight Awesome. Alright, so we got this. What's this thing do? Uh, if this card... Well, that, you don't belong down here. No, you don't belong to me. If this card is summoned, you can inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. What? You can only use the effect of one Satella Knight Awesome once per turn. You summon it and you get 1,000 damage? What? And it says summit, not flip, not how you summit. You could be flip summit, special summit. What? Yo. That is, that's vicious. A, a thousand damage, that does damage. All right, so we got a super rare. We got one super rare. So it's going to be interesting to see how much that card is worth. So now we can go, we're guaranteed a trip to Troll and Toad after the video. So here we go, pulling the last three. One, two, three. All right, we start off with Battle Guard Rage, Recover, number 38 Bakugan, number 58 Bakugan, Prime, um, Performer Paul Skeeter Skimmer, 
Jin Demolisher of Rituals, Pilgrim Reaper, Exchange of Night and Day, our rare in the pack is UA Mighty Slugger, and our hollow in the pack. Another Sinister Shadow Games! Dude! 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 We got another Sinister Shadow Games yeah, game, game. Alright, so this is not a bad pack. That's our second one we've gotten. It only cost us a good $160 to pull two. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So this is the last pack. The last pack. We are pulling it. I can't believe we got another shadow, um, shadow games. Alright, there we go. Draco Ascension. Chain the Spell. Hippo Carnival. Gaia, the Midnight Sun. Performer Paul, Skeeter Skimmer. Jin, the Molisher of Rituals. Pilgrim Reaper, the soup, the rare in the pack. Shadow Falco, and the Hollow in the pack. An ultimate rare, Baxia, Brightness of the Yang Zing. It sucks because I already know this card is not worth that much, but it's still a beautiful pull. Like the fact that we're lucky to pull something this rare is awesome, but at the same time, I wish that we could have pulled something that was, you know, worth a little more. You know, maybe something that has a plain name like Dante. It's a powerful name. I'm just saying. But in any case, this was just the first of four pack openings. So, um, the rares in the pack that we pulled. Which I am about to put in sleeves right now. Where is the other one? Satella Knight Awesome. Gonna put them in a the sleeve because they are the rare cards. We gotta make sure that they protect it. Like we don't want them to get fingerprinted too much. Alright. Baxia, brightness of the brightness of the Yang Zine. That's just a powerful name. Ultimate rare. And then Sinister Shadow Games. So right now we're gonna take a trip to the Troll and Toll website. And I'm gonna show you guys just how much these three cards are worth. So tell the night awesome, send us the shadow games, and back to your brightness of the Yang Zing. Alright, so ooh, look at that Xerneas car. Wait, right? anybody care about Xerneas? Okay, so we are here on Trollin' Toad. We are going to check these cars and the price of what they are worth in order. So the first one we got was the Teller Knight Awesome. Alright, we're gonna look up their price, and this card is worth. Wait, what? No. That spell right? Oh, it's a teller. Oh, teller. I just put it to teller. Okay. This might look better. 99 cent. Alright, so even with that good behind effects, it's only worth a dollar. Wow. Okay, so that's one card worth a dollar. We're going to move on to Sinister Shadow Games, which we found out the price for before, but just for the sake of consistency, we are going to put him right here on the site. So, Sinister Shadow Games Ultra Rare First Edition is worth $35. And guess what we got? First Edition. So, that's pretty powerful. That's a really good card. Really good card. And then this next card, Baxia. Oops. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't matter. That's my webcam. You guys aren't worried about my webcam right now. Okay, so anyway, um, we're going to move on to the next one. That is going to be Baxia, Brightness of the Yang Zing. Oh, come on. Brightness of the Yang Zing. And that is worth Ultimate Rare. Ultimate Rare. I don't understand why the Ultimate Rare version is more expensive than the Secret Rare version. I don't understand it, but by their logic, Baxia is worth more <laughs> there you go all right so we got one that's worth ten dollars which means that we earned a um let's say we were to take five dollars over every price so uh, not five dollars but let's see five dollars so we could put 30 uh send us a shout again at 30 we could put ultimate baxia at uh, let's say six or seven so let's say six for a lower case but that's still 36 dollars we still made 37 dollars in just six packs 37 dollars in six packs that is not anything to be mad about at all so Thank you all for watching. Were you guys correct? Don't forget to let me know in the comment section below. You now know that this pack opening was not the pack that the secret rare came in. So what what pack do you think it's going to be? We have three more left to do. So is, do you think it's going to be the next one? Do you think it's going to be the third one? Or do you think it's going to be the fourth one of this box? Let me know in the comment section below. Look forward to seeing your guesses. Thank you all for watching. Stay hot, guys. And I'll see y'all next time.